Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our own sinfulness and ask God's pardon and mercy 
to make us less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behaved toward you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. As for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God, from hearing us, you receive it, not as the word of man, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the nether world, you are present there. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like white, whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourself, yourselves, that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of felt. Harsh words. Masasakit na mga salita galing kay Jesus. But my dear brothers and sisters, we can be sure that these are not hated words. That Jesus did it not out of hatred, but out of love. Because Jesus is God, and God is love. Kung nasabi man ng Panginoon ang mga salitang ito sa mga eskriba at pariseyo, mga masasakit na salita, ito'y dala ng kanyang pag-ibig. Nais niyang anyayahan ang mga eskriba at mga pariseyo sa pagbabago. Ang kanyang mga salita ay salita ng pag-ibig sapagkat gusto niyang ang mga eskriba at pariseyo ay gisingin, mamulat sa panawagan ng pagbabalik loob. And if the scribes and Pharisees were open, these words would be invitation to conversion. These are not hatred words, hate words. Sometimes the most loving words are the hurtful ones. Ginamit ito ng Panginoon upang sila'y anyayahan na magbago. Pero alam naman natin ang nangyari. Dahil sa katigasan ng puso ng mga taong ito, humantong pa sa pagnanais nilang mamatay si Jesus. But my dear brothers and sisters, this has a lesson, has a lesson to us. Sometimes we are afraid to say the things, the right things, because we are afraid that we may get other, we may hurt other people. Pero kung tunay tayong nagmamahal, handa tayong makasakit. At hindi tayo mananakit dahil sa galit, kundi dahil sa pagmamahal. Kasi kumisan, 
merong mga taong kinakailangan mong saktan, pagsalitaan ng mga masasakit para na sa ganon ay maituwid. E tayo pa namang mga Pilipino, no? we sometimes associate words as a personal attack. Huh? Galit lang yan sa akin eh. Naiinggit lang yan sa akin eh. Kaya sinasabi niya sa akin yan. Ganun tayo. Lahat ina-associate natin sa inggit, sa galit. Hindi ba pwedeng sa pag-ibig? Kaya kapag tayo pinagsasabihan, pag tayo ay pinapangaralan, huwag natin kaagad isipin ginagawa ito sa atin dahil galit siya sa atin. Posibleng ginagawa niya ito sa atin sapagkat mahal niya tayo. So my dear brothers and sisters, this gospel has an invitation, a, a two-prong invitation. It is an invitation to us to speak the truth even if it is hurting and for us to receive the truth even if it hurts. So, sa mga may nakikitang mali, magsalita. At kapag napagsasabihan, tanggapin, maging bukas. Sapagkat doon lamang mapapaayos ang takbo ng ating buhay. Amen. Please stand. Coming together as we ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our lives, as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may avoid doing things out of the desire to conform or out of hypocrisy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Let us also pray for those who are celebrating their birthday today, that God may continue to bless them with good health. Let us also remember those who have gone before us, especially Carlos, that they may rest in peace. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord <clears throat> accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember your servant Carlos, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us love like Jesus. Let us pray like Jesus. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. <clears throat> Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I once more invite you to the Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 p.m. And uh, this week, our host would be the community of the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of St. Nicholas de Tolentino in Maribeles, Bataan. So they will be the ones leading the praying of the Rosary. So that would be tonight at 9 p.m. Tomorrow, August 31, will be the 95th birthday or birth anniversary of Cardinal Sin. And uh, at 12.10, the Mass will be presided over by Bishop Roberto Santos, the new Bishop of Antipolo. So if you are free, attend the, the noontime Mass tomorrow. And after the Mass, there will be blessing of the tomb of Cardinal Sin the downstairs. And you will be allowed to enter the crypt. And after the blessing of the tomb, we will open the exhibit of his personal memorabilia. So that will be tomorrow. And on Sunday, the 50th death anniversary of Cardinal Santos will be remembered. Oh, uh, September 3, 1973, when he passed away. The Mass at 10 a.m. will be presided over by Bishop Ted Buhain, the Auxiliary Bishop Emeritus of Manila, and after the Mass, there will also be a blessing of the tomb underneath and the opening of the exhibit of the personal memorabilia of Cardinal Santos. So you are also invited to attend that Mass on Sunday. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Thank <laughs> you.